So it's been a few weeks since uh, Scabs has been nerfed and Rogue isn't even that popular on ladder and well Nova's actually felt comfortable enough to finally go back outside so let's go check in with her. Hey Nova, oh my, you look like you are enjoying yourself out here, snacking on some grass. Um, yeah, Scabs is barely on ladder. Although one of the best decks on ladder right now is Quest Rogue, which runs multiple... Y you know what? We're just not going to tell her about Scabs kind of being on ladder in a different form. Let's just let her enjoy the peace and quiet that is outside. And let's go inside and talk about this week in Hearthstone. everyone and welcome to the 72nd edition of this week in hearthstone where we take a look at all the news and events of the past week in the hearthstone world and we have quite a few things to talk about today with uh, first our top story that we'll talk about is cheating back in hearthstone it's a problem again yep it is it's not a big surprise we'll talk all about it and well what you might be prepared for on wild ladder as well as um there was a master's tour event did you know did you know there was a Master's Tour event with money on the line and World Championship implications? That's right, you probably didn't know. We'll go over the results and who won, who got top eight, all that fun stuff, as well as the talk of the tavern segment where I go over, where I recommend a creator that I feel you guys should check out, as well as the mailbag segment where I answer your questions. So first, we have the top story of cheating in Hearthstone. It's back. It, like, it, again, this is not a big surprise, but yes, it is back in Wild with a base around these cards as always sorcerer's apprentice at four mana and ignite and uh yes it's the same thing where somebody disables the animations basically does a ridiculously long turn kills their opponent and uh yeah basically it was tweeted out here by uh memnark who is a consistent high legend player um that's he's been very you know against this stuff for a while uh tweeting that i just had my opponent draw his entire deck i believe it's on turn six with luna and then using knights to otk the sources apprentice nerf didn't stop the cheaters because they figured out a new list in our back and i will note that his opponent's ranked 222 so it doesn't look like maybe it's affecting high legend at all yet or I don't know. You'd have to ask more uh, higher ranked players, but uh, yeah, this is inevitable to be a problem because the nerf to Apprentice, which is to make it unplayable, I guess, didn't solve the problem of animation skipping in Hearthstone. We keep talking about this, that Blizzard doesn't seem to have any safeguards in place to detect if people are skipping animations, to detect if people are altering code, and this is even an issue with uh, Battlegrounds. With the uh, They're having their whole Battlegrounds competitive event coming up where they have put in the rulebook, it is cheating to uh, disconnect after a turn and re-log to basically skip the animations. When they have their official tournaments, that will be considered cheating. However, offline, it's not cheating because they can't detect it. And that's kind of crazy to me that they still don't have these safeguards in place that most modern games do. And as long as this continues to be a thing and the more crazy animations and things you can do in the game continue to exist, this cheating problem will continue to be a problem and well, we're seeing, like I said, in Battlegrounds where actual money is in the line that it can be and will continue to be a problem. And yes, it will be a problem in Wild. And if you're wondering about your opponent, uh, you know, taking an absurd long time with their Ignite or the APM Mage or whatever it is, uh, it very well could be a cheater and you'll never know because again, Blizzard doesn't put in the safeguards to get this done and it creates that level of distrust for players where I can't count how many times I've been messaged, DM'd, uh, whispered, whatever, saying my opponent cheated against me. He killed me with Ignite Mage, which maybe he was just fast. Maybe he just played the deck right or maybe they were cheating and now we still don't know it's a frustration and i'm gonna keep bringing it up every once in a while when there, there's a like a tweet like this from memnark to try and put pressure on blizzard to put in these safeguards that you would think they would want to have in the game to keep the integrity of the game at its absolute highest especially when you have money on the line in both battlegrounds and standard where you can exploit these type of things and well i'm sure they are being exploited and a lot of people aren't even aware of it so there's that there's 
there's that fun little news tidbit, cheating back in wild. Our other story, we have the Hearthstone Masters Tour, the Nixia's Lair Tournament was going on this weekend. And yes, you probably didn't know it was on YouTube. There was even drops. I got my free two packs. I didn't watch a lot. I was kind of streaming during while it was on, but uh, yes, I got my two packs and just, I wish they, again, promote it better, but it is it is what it is. And we had a stack top eight here, a stack top eight of Love Storm, Dead 17, Luna Love. Luna's always crushing it, just always crushing it, as is Dead Draw, always crushing it. Ridiculous. Uh, Youth, JP, Mixter, Judgment, and Unknown with the final being between the Love Storm and Judgment, and Love Storm in a very animated and happy way uh, won his won the championship. And uh, yeah, China keeps taking home these Masters Tour events, World Championships. They're crushing it, doing very well. And uh, yeah, congrats to Love Storm who wins. This probably I would imagine this puts him in a uh, position to qualify for World Championships coming up. But again, I, I'm not even really entirely sure on all that. I'll try and get that clarified at some point. But again, congratulations to Love Storm, and uh, hopefully maybe. I can plug the Masters Tour or whatever next event. I know GM's starting soon. I'll try and plug that for you guys to know when it's actually going on so you can tune in because Blizzard, again, still not doing the best of jobs of getting that word out there. Uh, next, we have the Talk of the Tavern segment where I highlight a content creator I feel you should check out in this week. This is a first for me. First on the channel, we are going to highlight a content creator who doesn't primarily speak English. We are going to highlight Serial for Me. It's an up and coming uh, Twitch and YouTube Hearthstone content creator. I even saw her playing some Horizon today, does some variety. And yeah, she uh, streams on Twitch mostly. She seems to upload on YouTube sporadically. Both of her links can be found down below. She does on TikTok and she hit Legend for the first time ever in uh, June of 2021, kind of likes to use the stream to learn, to work together, um, a lot of fun. And she does both standard and battleground. So if you're looking for, sorry, she's a Brazilian content creator. You're looking for someone maybe that, you know, if you're you're bilingual or you, you don't just follow English content creators, you can check out and give her a follow. She seems very nice and uh, very active in the community. When I said to uh, get the talk of the tavern back out, there was a huge support of people that thought she should be uh, shouted out. So a big shout out to her and she's been an absolute delight to get to know. And lastly, we have a mailbag segment where I answer your questions. Again, if you want to leave me a question, leave a comment in the comments below with mailbag in the comment. And first, Matthias Barella asks, don't you think of uh, don't you think that instead of allowing us to disenchant a nerfed card for full dust value, Blizzard should simply give us the dust and let us keep the cards. Well, I mean, that would be great. I, I, I love that. I get to keep my card. I get more dust. That's actually what they used to do when they would Hall of Fame a card, when they would put it from standard to wild before they introduced the core set. You get to keep your card and the dust, which was pretty nice, but I, I don't see that happening as well as, you know, there are perks to it. Like if you open a pack with a nerfed card later, you can get the dust back. It allows you to trade in and get some other stuff. I feel like you know, they're already kind of giving us something. I don't know. It's it's a hard one to answer. Of course, I would like to see us get more stuff. I would always like that. But at the end of the day, I just, I would be shocked to ever see it happen. But it's hard to say, uh, no, I, 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 I wouldn't like that. You know, it'd suck. But yeah, unfortunately, it's just probably not something that's going to be on the table anytime soon. Um, Gavin Zoreb asked, do you think they will ever change wild? As a player, I have no motivation to buy packs from expansions before I joined the game i'm not sure what you mean by change wild if you mean by making more accessible by like giving you wild cards that won't happen to make the mode better and like balance it more often probably not they've it took like over a year just to get a like one card nerfed in the, or two cards nerfed in the format uh very recently it's very difficult they seem very stubborn on not making it more of like a curated experience and um I think the wild you see is going to be the wild we're going to get for quite some time. I'd love to be proven wrong, by the way, Blizzard. Please prove me wrong. But I, uh, I again, I just don't really see it. And lastly, we'll leave off with Ovi Jit asking, uh, do you want to make a second channel, a financial advising channel? Oh, you mean like a NFT style channel? Yeah, no, I'll pass on that. I'll leave that to uh, Dexter and Solemn who have that kind of under wraps from the Hearthstone content creator point of view. So anyways, uh, that's this week in Hearthstone. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends. <laughs>